Anybody here? Compared to this place, Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. Blue sand. Never seen that outside of a Picasso. Can't remember landing. I remember the wormhole, the dimensional shift, then this. The pod took a beating, though. I don't think I'll be able to use it again. That must be the Guardian's Tower. It's either very small or very far away, and from what I know of the balance, it doesn't settle for economy-sized. I think I'm in for a long walk. There's the second pod, but I don't see... Adrian! He's not in here, so he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Adrian? Adrian! It's Adrian's pod. It's empty. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. What is this? It looks like... Home. It's home. It's not... It's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was... Eight or nine. God. No, what's happening to me? What? Who's there? Come here, pumpkin. I got you something. Special. Dad? Daddy, is that you? Hush, Pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here, right now, or I'll... 
daddy wants to give you something, Pumpkin. Come on. Daddy looks so scary. I'm in my Sunday dress looking my best for church. It's our kitchen where mommy cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner and cleans the dishes. Come to daddy, Pumpkin. Come to daddy. And I will make everything quiet. It's a gold ring. But I don't think it's mine because I haven't seen it before. Daddy, please, you don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But Daddy, you gave me this. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a... a family, and you... God forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking, and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night, when we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling feeling a little dizzy, and and then your mother, she says to me, hold her, hold your baby girl in your arms, and I take you, and I hold you, and you, you look up at me with such startled eyes, like, like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful, and you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened, but I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor, but you didn't cry. You didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk, oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I... I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking, and then getting better and better at it, it was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool, a selfish fool, and now I, I lost you forever. I forgive you. You do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. Those rocks look dark and forbidding. Very ominous. Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. Oh, great. There's a large canyon circling the tower, and there doesn't seem to be any way across. It's some kind of conical sandstone structure, reaching about a third of the way to the base of the tower. The canyon's filled with dense fog blocking my view. But it's definitely a very long way down, and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. It 
worked. What? 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 Hello, old friend. April. What the heck? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? You're asking me? I was just, um, helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood. Next thing I know, there's a blue light, and then... I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel. Then I had to look around the place. This ain't heaven. I mean, this ain't heaven, is it? Sure it is, Crow, and I'm the Archangel April. Sweet! Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? We got all the dodos you could ever want. Oh, that's great! That's... Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I see. You are kidding me. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> oh, that's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh, baby! Ooh, that's a zinger! I gotta write that down somewhere. Wait, what is that? Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly! <laughs> Gee. Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along, let me do your dirty work once in a while, but come on! You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. They're like flying rats. You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. Huh. And that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> bah! That's not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up. I... But you... Gave you that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater. You can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. He had an albatross? His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured you're not a cowboy. So it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn. Get right. Get, get, you know, damn. You know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Are you going to keep beating yourself up? 
Are you gonna help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm gonna help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero too, just like Crow Boy. Okay, let me think. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? Just fly across the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. What for? There must be a way to cross this canyon, and maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. What did you find? No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side, on top of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good, stay the heck away blue shimmer to it. So I didn't fly any closer. Who knows where I'd end up. That's gotta be the well of making. Well, maybe it can be making us a bridge then. <laughs> <laughs> Making us a bridge! <laughs> I'm killing! I'm killing today! You're easily amused, Crow. My brain's one-tenth the size of yours. What do you want from me? But maybe you got a point. Maybe the well of making can help us somehow. It was only a joke, April. I know, but still. Crow, I want you to get me some water from the Well of Making. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean... Where would social welfare be without magic? But magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. If not, I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Hero? Sure! Stooge? No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line, tempt fate, and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning, if... If what? If you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next, uh, year. One year? So honor and glory mean nothing to you? Not as much as a good flea plucking, no. Okay, deal. Now, fly! Yay! How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, you got what I'm talking to do. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're gonna have to do whatever it is we need done with it. Alright, I'm over. I'm over the fire, okay? It's been a while I'm being a thing. Okay, let me think about it for a second. Without knowing what's down there, I don't see how that's gonna work. I don't see any point in wasting the water on the tower. He's 
already got a beak full of water. Without knowing what's down there, I don't see how that's gonna work. I don't see any point in wasting the water on the tower. Not while he's got his beak full of water. He'll spray it all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, but I couldn't hold it any longer. What happened to you after I left? I just flew around for a bit. Would you believe it? I actually went back to Mercuria Harbor to find the old man again, see what he was up to. I kind of miss him. I mean, I hate him and I hope his hair falls out, but... We were together for 20 years, you know, and there were good days. Well, one at least, one good day. Anyways, he was gone. Not a trace left of him. Either he drowned, or he got out of town with the rest of them. What's going on in Arcadia now? Don't you know? There's a great big war going on, that's what. The Tyrant are rising against the nations of the Northlands, and Mercuria has been evacuated. A lot of people are getting killed, and it looks like the Tyrant might win this time around. They got this huge, swirling, chaotic-looking magical weapon on their side. Um, uh, not anymore they don't. Really? Well, then maybe our guys do stand a chance after all. It was looking bleak there for a second, believe you me. I was even considering brushing up on my Tyran... Nian, or whatever it is those barbarians speak. Sounds like a bunch of guttural rubbish to me, you know, like... I'm not particularly refined, you know? Do you know what happened to my friends? Your friends? Sorry. No, oh, wait, 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 I think... That Venara you've been talking to? Abnaxis? I think I saw him heading north at a great speed. And Mr. Westhouse was kind enough to share a cup of whiskey with me when I went to ask him if he'd seen you. Good stuff. Bad. Bad hangover. Other than that, I don't know. Sorry. Any idea what we should do? You're asking me? Me? You're actually asking me for advice? Me, huh? Don't see nobody else around, do you? I don't perform well when I put on the spot like this, you know. But, okay, I'm thinking. I got wings. You need some flying done? I'm your man. Bird, I'm your bird. Thanks, Crow. Anytime, babe. I mean, ma'am. Miss April. 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 Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just... well... Fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it. But he'd be careful not to get hurt. And he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course! Okay. Hold tight. I'll be back soon. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something, anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean, blue sand. What the heck? Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue. It's something. Not like that. Nothing down there. 
It was freaky! So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side? You'll fall into the nothing. I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there. You'd be falling through nothing forever! Damn. Crow, we need some more water from the Well of Making. Of course we do. And who's gonna have to go get it? Crow, who else? You okay? Uh, I'm okay. Okay, let's see. Where can we use the water? I got an idea, Crow. Well? Uh, you said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Well? Uh, the water in your mouth is magical water from the Well of Making. Whoa. Uh, so what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? Um... Something, right? Well, uh, well, uh, what is that? Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen, I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure what exactly. Oh, 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 okay. Something all right, but what? Where's Crow? Crow! 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 Oh, please let him be all right, wherever he is. <laughs> 